people and welcome to the lecture on form with get method so let's create a form and use method as get and then we'll write a php code to access those values so what we're going to do is we're going to create a form we'll enter the data then push it to the server at the server side we'll write the php code and at the php code we'll try to access those data okay so this will help you show how to read uh, variables that has been sent over from client to server okay so for that we're going to create a folder called forms and the first method we're going to use is get okay and here we're going to create the php file and also our html file so i'm going to paste the html file first okay we'll use sublime for to open the code all right so before that let's open this file so make sure your amps is running okay and then we'll access our local host so to access this path you need to enter from after ww whatever is a folder you enter that and then you enter your file name okay so this is a simple form you have a text field then you have an email id you have a submit and a reset button so let's review the code i think fancy is a simple form so let's understand what is the form look like you have a form right and form has an action called display.php so we're going to create this file the method are of two types post and get so we'll understand what is the difference between get and post when we submit this form and we'll understand how to read the get variables and then we have a field set that is nothing but this line box over here is called as a field set then for a field set you have a legend and then you have your input text that's basically your input then your input right and then you have a name and an id for it and type is text and then you have a submit button and then you have a reset button okay and the type for this two input type one type is email one type is text okay very simple html form and whatever you enter here let's say john smith and test at the rate test.com okay we don't have this page like display.php let's create this page okay and let's open this up and we're gonna say hello from display.php all right so let's submit the page okay so we went to display.php and then we said hello from here all right the most important thing that you have to understand this is how a get method works okay and what is the difference between get and a post when we go to post we'll talk about the difference between get and post but now understand what is the get method the get method basically pass the input in the url itself you see the data here let's observe this let me open a notepad let's open this up and let's open our html code okay so if you look at our html and then you look at the parameter that has been passed okay every element is basically separated with ampersand okay that's first point and whatever is the value the input text okay is your name right whatever you give it here will be given it here and whatever is the value that you are entering is is equal to equal to that value okay then ampersand then input type is equal to that value all right so this is basically the field name and whatever is the value you are entering that value is entered here so this is how the data is been sent from html page to our display.php so how do we read this how to read this is what we're going to learn in this lecture but try to understand how the get method works so when you submit something let's say you submit right the url is nothing so when you submit this data is been sent in the url after the question mark so there's also a question mark here so understand the purposes of all the symbols here right for every url the parameters is starting after the question mark okay so what happens is it is like this right and how it is parameters are is like field is equal to value ampersand field is equal to value 
this is how it is represented and what is the field the field is nothing but your input text right whatever the name that you give that field name and value is whatever the value you are entering in the form you have entered this then that will be your value so field is equal to value field is equal to value separated with an ampersand okay that's why you see an ampersand it is separating two different fields right input type input type text and input type email all right so this is how the url param works for get method when you change the method to post okay you will not see this data in the url this will be sent as a post method to the page all right so for get method you will get this in the url so remember that whenever someone is doing a get method you are submitting as a get method you will always expect to have in the url and the format is like this after question mark there will be parameters and parameters will be in this format field is equal to value separated with an ampersand then field is equal to value okay all right so let's understand how to read this right that's what we're going to write the code now all right so we need a html page so we copy this okay we leave everything like this remove the form and what we're going to do is we're going to start reading that input okay okay so let's read it so before that we will add a link back okay we're going to say index.html it's not index.html student form.html all right so we want to go back right one step back so we say back to home so when you run this php code right we have this link so you can go back or you can stay on this page so now you have the link now let's try to access the url param okay how to access the url parameter which is sent via the get method okay so we define a variable name and we have this global variable called dollar underscore get and in this get basically these values are stored right so before that what we can do is we can just echo what is inside this so we will get an understanding of how to access this first all right so let's echo this out first what is inside this variable uh, global variable underscore get okay and then we'll try to extract the fields that we want okay whatever fields we have like input underscore text and input underscore email we'll try to extract it so before that we print it okay so because it has this data okay let's print it so it's an array right good so we know it's an array it's very good so what you can do is you can do a var dump now right you know it's an array so var dump this data okay right so now you see the input underscore text is pointing to this string the input underscore email is pointing to this string so now when you pass this you can access the associative array right how do you access associative array name is equal to dollar underscore get you pass the key and then you get the value that's how you access the associative array okay this is email right now we can echo name all right so let's refresh our page so what we can do is we can comment the var dump right now you can access john smith and the email and the good thing is you don't have to really you know depend on whatever the user send you can actually change from the url as well so i'm gonna say php at the rate php.com okay so it doesn't care what has been sent over it only care what is available in the url because you're using get the get will always care about what is stored in the url doesn't matter what has been sent over anybody can change this you change this and you execute the program it will take these parameters so it's also hinting you that whatever you're sending in the url parameter is not safe anybody can have this page 
change the data and refresh your page. So your page will try to read this data. So they can manipulate it. They have the control to manipulate the input parameters. When you do the post, then they won't lose that feature. That's why when you compare a different get and post, get data is basically a simple data that you don't want to hide. You want to just show like navigation page, you're on the first page, second page. You want to pass the token key. If someone change the token key, they won't have access to the page. Right, so those are those kind of things you want to pass in into the URL param, right? And then once you change the field name as well, let's say, right, you're not able to access it, right? So be careful with what you sent over in the URL param. And whatever you sent over is automatically stored in this variable. You don't have to do anything. The PHP itself will take care of storing that URL into this, into an associative array. And whenever you want to access it, you just access it via passing the input value. And if you're very confused how it is work and you don't know how you have to get those details, just do a var dump of underscore get and you will get to know whatever is inside that URL param and then you can start accessing that specific fields. All right, so it's very simple to work with forms and how to access the form elements with the get method. All right, so this exercise, do it and understand how to access those variables and I'll see you in the next one.